And this next question comes in from Michael, who is curious about my long-term experiences with my Unify AC light access points and whether or not he thought I should go with the Pro models. I got these about almost three years ago now. I did a video on them, which I'll put down below in the master playlist. And what I love about the Unify products is that they give you enterprise features for a consumer price. You get a really in-depth way of configuring this stuff to exactly the way you want it. You can adjust the transmission power, everything you can think of you can do on these devices. They've got a great uh, control panel for it. And when I bought mine, I made the decision to go with their AC light version and they cost a little less than the Pro and I've been perfectly fine with that decision. Uh, so the ones I got here have a max of 867 megabits per second on AC and they can do about 300 megabits per second on 2.4 gigahertz wireless networks. They usually cost about $80 or so uh, for those devices. They are powered over ethernet also. Uh, so the one I have in the ceiling here, all I had to do was just run an ethernet cable out to it and I power it in my equipment room over there. It's a very convenient way to get these things positioned where you need them to. Uh, they also come with PoE injectors in the box. Uh, the Pro version uh, is pretty much the same, but it costs more and is a bit faster. So the other one here has a 2x2 radio. Uh, the Pro version has a 3x3 radio, which means that you could get uh, conceivably up to 1.3 gigabits per second, at least on the wireless backbone. Uh, but it only connects up with a single gigabit Ethernet connection to your switch. So just know you'll be uh, never hitting that 1.3 max with this particular product. So it is a little bit faster, both on the AC and the 2.4 gigahertz bands. Uh, but I think, though, for a majority of what you're going to do over Wi-Fi, unless you're pushing huge files all the time, uh, you won't regret spending less on the light version. And maybe if you have one room in the house where you know you're going to be doing a lot more heavy-duty data transfer over Wi-Fi, maybe put the Pro model in there. But I think for most consumers or most networking people in general, uh, the lights here should be sufficient for what you might do with them. And my overall experiences with these Unify products has been outstanding. I set them up once and I haven't had to think about it again. They just work and that is what uh, you always want to see in something. Uh, what's cool about both versions of these is that they also support VLANs. Uh, so you can have a single access point uh, and be able to segment your network traffic over VLANs through the same device. It's really cool how it works. That's one thing I haven't set up yet, uh, but it is there and available. So you have a really nice feature set for such an inexpensive device, and it's something that I can definitely recommend to all of you. This channel is brought to you by the LON.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.